How you guys doing today? This is Sebastian from Indulge Me, and I'm doing a request video for Fire Wolverine 12 because he asked me for an M16 loadout. So right now, I'm going to start off with my secondary to defend this bomb. I'm using the Striker, which is a really good shotgun. I never used shotguns before because I find them way too overpowered and cheap, but that's okay. Anyway, on to my primary weapon of destruction this game, the M16 with Silencer. The perks it has on it are Scavenger, Stopping Power, and Ninja Perel. And my kill streaks are Predator Missile, Harrier, Emergency Airdrop. So right now I just defended the bridge and picked up the kills very quickly. I didn't defuse that one bomb because my team wanted to blow up and I have no idea who they are but they sound like they would kill me if I disobeyed them so I obeyed what they wanted. And now I'm dropping my emergency airdrop. Now, the emergency airdrops I really like because I can share with my team. I'll take two of the packages and I'll leave the other two for my teammates. Um, it's usually my discretion that when I'm going to take the packages, like, if I... Sometimes I'll even leave, like, a chopper gun or AC-130 behind because I'm a nice person and I want my team to do well as well as I do well. So, let's talk about the guns now. The M16 with silencer is a great gun to either defend or use on offense. Why? Because you have the silencer, so you can't be seen on the UAV. You have scavenger, so you have endless ammo. Oh, look at that. I just got a nice double kill back there because of my claymore. So, scavenger pro gives me unlimited ammo. It also allows me to plant as many claymores as I want. Well, up to two, but I'll have an infinite amount of claymores. Um, now, number two, stopping power is amazing with the m16 because it takes one to two shots to kill a person so i basically see them just brat brat with my three round burst and they're done and ninja so they have no idea when i'm coming up on them even if they have a heartbeat sensor and my footsteps are silent like a ninja which allows me to spawn kill them like i am here and yes you control me for it and i probably won't care like i always do which is perfectly fine with me Anyway, I picked up another five kills right there, and my Predator Missile actually jumps me to the emergency airdrop right here, which is great. I actually get four emergency airdrops in this game, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, I apologize for the speed of the clip, because it's ten minutes of footage from a twenty-minute game smushed together. And I stop every single time I get a kill, every single time I get a death. Um, let's see what else. Use a kill streak. Oh. By the way, I love looking up when the emergency airdrop comes because it's like the final hoorah. It's like, yes, I finally got my airdrop. Um, this one, I actually, I think I take all of them because my team doesn't want them. I don't know, I give that guy a UAV. Yeah. Anyway, so as you've probably seen already, I added a nifty little bar in the bottom telling you my kills and deaths. Um, hopefully you'll like it and you can read it fast enough because it's only there for two seconds every single time I get one and I didn't realize this until after I added the bar and the bar took me forever to do because I changed it every single time I got a kill every single time I got a death so it took a long time to do not to mention that my video program quit out I think maybe six times and I lost tons of work every time in between because I only save like every 10 minutes when I remember. So hopefully Fire Wolverine 12 really enjoys this video because the aggravation that went into it was for you. <laughs> anyway, I'm just in their base trying to clear the target area for my team. Get a nice dirty headshot over the box over there. Um, I pick up a Predator missile right here and then I die so I can't get the rest. In the back with models. I still hate the models, even though they were completely nerfed. They were, I hate them. I almost said ridiculous. Which I say in every single video, so I'm not going to say it. Anyway. The, uh, the stopping power really works well in the M16. Like, it just kills in one hit. It's so perfect. The FAMAS does too, even though the FAMAS's damage and the uh, the M16's damage are completely off in the, stati uh, the statistics. Like, I want to know what actual numbers they use for the guns, like, for the formulas they have to use, for the hitboxes. 
which is a really nerdy thing and you have no idea what I'm saying, I'm sorry. But for those of you who do know, I really want to know because I think the M16 and FAMAS are fairly close, even though it doesn't show it on the picture. Oh, that kid just got juked out. It was like, oh, I'm chasing you with models. Oh, he went around the corner. Not psych. And that jerk killed me. So, let's see. I'm going to go back in their base because that seems to be working fairly well. Pick up two kills right away. And the round ends. So now I'm going to use a Predator Missile and get one kill. And the guy on the, my team's like, oh my god, how do you only get one kill with a Predator Missile? And I'm like, I'm not going to answer you because you're a douche. Um, last time I checked, I'm on the top. Anyway. Ugh. Look at my deaths go up. There's a time where I die like three times in a row. <laughs> I hate it. I would have had such a great score. Imagine if I played this game like flawlessly. That would have been awesome. Anyway, I'm going to plant another Claymore because they just run down that place for some reason in every single game I play. Now the clip's about to jump because I walked around their base for a very long time without getting a kill. And I didn't feel like having you guys watch me just speed up the clip for an endless amount of time. Now, right now, if you can't read it, I'm 49 kills in with 8 deaths and 9 kill streaks. And here's my 50th kill. I'm gonna drop it right on the target area to pick up a nice kill. So, it jumps again because I walk around. And here's my 51st kill with my 10 kill streak. Drop it on the target area. Try to create a little lyric for my team. I can't talk. Um, here's my emergency airdrop. I'm gonna jump off and kill myself so I can get back to my base faster. Why, you ask? Because my KD is high enough where I don't really care. And I also can start my kill streaks over again. I'm gonna drop it over here because I believe that's where they spawn. Now, something I want to talk about is... Um, let's talk about me for once. So, you guys have, uh... Watched a couple of my videos if you've subscribed. Just want you guys to know that I am a senior in high school. And I've been accepted to New England Institute of Technology. And I'm going to go there to be a simulation programmer. And if you guys do not know what that is, I'm basically going to school to become a game programmer. So, if you guys subscribe to my channel, when I actually go to school, I will probably be doing video logs and entries about basically what I do there and you'll learn some simulation programming stuff so if you want to possibly learn to be a game designer that's going to be starting after I graduate obviously anyway I'm completely murking these kids right here I pick up that headshot in the window this kid is just priceless he's just like oh I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna kill you uh uh boom dead and then this kid I kill him I'm not gonna throw the grenades because I'm terrible at it I always kill myself so I run away. I hear the one kid coming up with the turtle beach, and I'm just like, oh, knife in the throat. Predator missile for the win. I'm going to go over here in the corner, use my predator missile. I'm going to drop it, get a sixth kill. Now I need one more for my Harrier. So I'm going to be go be a jerk and plant a claymore on the bridge and move on. However, another guy comes conveniently, and I get my Harrier strike, which is awesome. Now I'm going to drop another airstrike over there, because I think they spawn in the back corner by the gas station, but they always run forward. So I was right, and I got kills from that, and here's another emergency airdrop for me to share. So, the uh, this is basically almost the end of the video. I get one more kill after this, and I don't show you the rest of the game because I just walk around and then the game ends. So this is the last kill. Um, this is my M16 stealth loadout. Turns out really good, and it was for you, Fire Wolverine 12. So if you have any requests, send them in, and I'll do them.